Let's just go, just go live. Right, I'm going live, Mr. Blister. For a week, which um, is love. Oh no, it's disconnecting, reconnecting. <sighs> no idea whether this is actually working, guys. No idea. Yeah, little man is definitely here as here as well. <laughs> he is slightly noisy. He's having his lunch, so um, he is slightly noisy. So excuse that in the background. Um, he woke up early from his nap, so uh, so he's stuffing himself full of a cheese toasty at the moment. Um, I had a lush, lush week off. Really amazing time. Um, we've done lots. What did we do? Uh, I, well, I've been off, done lots and lots in the house, and we went away as well, me, me and my husband, which was lush. We went away for four days, which was amazing. Uh, we did a class just before I went off. We did the modern drunker circle class, which was so nice to actually... Um, Who's not happy, Bunny? <laughs> Hi, ah, uh, it's freezing ever so often, is it? Oh, uh, you know, he's fine. Yes, that's just the noise he makes because he's still not talking. Still not talking at all. Uh, he just makes lots of noise. Um, chatters to himself, just gibberish. But um, yeah, we did a we did the modern drunkard circle class just before I went off. So I haven't seen you since then. And that was so nice to be teaching back in person again. It was really, really lovely. Really amazing class. Everybody did brilliantly. Uh, there are spaces on other classes as well if you... Um, if anyone's interested you know um we had people come from all over and stay locally and all so it was lovely um we're gonna do i've got a new little obsession i've got a new little obsession which we're going to be playing around with today and i'm going to show you but before we do i wanted to oh let's say hello to some people uh hi patricia hi lynn hi cheryl hi karen hi linda hi heather Hi, Carolyn. Um, hi, Melba. Hi, Taryn. Oh, lots and lots of you coming online. Fantastic. Uh, hi, Kay. Lovely. Lovely. Hi, Sarah. Fabulous. So before we um, before we get into the painting bit, um, I want to show you these. So these have come in. These came in while I'm away. And these are um, just in, well, just in time. It's not till May, but in time ready for the coronation. Um, it's from Macau. They've reprinted them. They did them for the Jubilee. And obviously now we've got uh, the King's coronation coming up in May. So if you are going to maybe have a party or you just want to decorate the house up a little bit or the garden, they were just really, really nice. You get 16 of the pennants. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight one side and then eight the other. And they're on at £10. I popped them into the panel section on the website. Put them on a moment ago. So just wanted to show you that. I have put a load more stuff into clearance. And I've put a load more stuff into the job lots as well. Lots of you were uh, busy ordering over the weekend. <laughs> uh, face painting? <laughs> Not face painting, Carolyn. <laughs> Fabric painting. So that's what we're going to have a little look at today. So... It's something I saw when I went up to um, Cheltenham and went to that Montpellier Quilters exhibition. I did a little live and all from there. There was this wonderful uh, quilt that, um, let me come back over here a second just so I'm talking. So this wonderful quilt that had, um, this lady had done over lockdown. So she'd done little tiny, they were like sort of three inch by two inch appliques. And she'd done one every single day of um, lockdown. So it was 365 of them. And they were just really simple little appliques, just something from the day. You know, one was like a vase of flowers, another was a cup of tea, another was a little duck, another was a dog because she'd take the dog for a walk. You know, so just little tiny appliques. But they were really interesting because she, they had, she, she'd she like shaded the fabric and stuff. And I, so I was talking to somebody there and she said, oh no, she's just used the ink tense pencils and shaded into them. And I was like, ooh, I might be very, very behind the times with this. You might all have done this before. I I, ha, I ha, had a couple of intense pencils from you know, for art you know because they're like watercolor pencils, um, but Sarah very lovely um, bought me some for Christmas. This was my one of my Christmas presents. So 
They're the Derwent. They have to be the ink tents. Now, we don't sell these, but you can get them on Amazon, you know, Hobby, Hobby Craft, all sorts, all sorts of independent art shops. And they are watercolour pencils. And the difference with them, apparently, is they have actually got proper ink pigment in the pencil. Okay? So, you, it means that you can use them on paper and stuff. Hi, darling. Which red? You've got, you've got to give Granny a few minutes, okay? You've got to give Granny a few minutes. Um, you can use them to paint on fabric. So, um, I had them for Christmas, but over this week, while I've been off, I've had a proper research and a play about them. And um, watched a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of um, instructional videos from Derwent as well, because there's loads on their website, which is called. Uh, they call uh, call it potato chip blocks. Ah, oh, lovely. Oh, I didn't know that's what they were called. Fab, Karen, thank you. And the lady who seems to be the expert on this, I'll tag a couple of her videos, actually, says that um, the best medium to use them on is calico. Oh, <laughs> someone isn't happy now. Does he need, need his nappy done? <laughs> Just take the trousers off, love. He's fine. It's warm enough in here. Yeah, follow He's a... Change your nappers, oh. <laughs> it's gonna be gonna get loud, I'm afraid, because you need a nappy done. So calico apparently is the best. So I'm using um the Kingfisher premium calico that we've got. And apparently the way to test the fabric is to flick it, flick water on it like that, and if the water droplets like that and doesn't immediately soak in and bleed, I don't know if you can see that, it might be too too close uh too far away um then it's fine to use with the pencils you can use it on any 100 percent cotton but you might get a little bit more bleeding okay <laughs> hang on guys put it you've got up your bum down oh he just wants to sit on my lap so i thought i'd just have a play around so first thing i did was pull out do you remember the little birds that we did ages and ages I don't think you're going to be able to hear me, guys. Give me a second. I'm going to carry on talking, but he hates his nappy being changed. Okay. So, and it's off. And it's off. There we go. All done. All done, darling. So, do you remember this that we did ages and ages ago? We did um, just to practice free motion embroidery, just using ovals and making them into little bird birds and stuff. Um, and stitching into it i had a couple of these so i thought well i'll start practicing on that i'll just color into them and see what happens and they came out super cute so all like you can see all i did was like use colors jonah jonah darling shh. granny nobody can hear over you crying do you want to quickly come and give granny a hug come on quickly come and give granny a hug Calm down. Just let go. Let him go. Come on. Sorry. Um, he's going to scream the place down until he's sat on my lap a second. Do you want to come and give Granny a quick hug? And I can't. We won't be able to talk through it. There we go. Okay. Okay. You just give Granny a quick hug. Yeah. Is that all right? Was Uncle Josh mean? Make you change your nappy. Yeah. He's got a bit of a cold as well, which is not fun. So what I did was just use the pencils in the cut in which we're going to have a, I'll do it on this one in a moment. Just add some extra color and stuff to them. Okay. So that you can um, kind of work into them and you will get this like watercolor effect. Okay. What's that Jackie? You've been using an outline pencil that stops bleeding. Yes. Found that afterwards. I was going to get to that bit. Yeah. But it's really good. The outline pencil as well. Um, but actually, I don't mind that very sort of like watercolory, wishy washy effect. I think it worked really, really well. You know, like I've done, I deliberately did that round the, round the, um, like the music notes, let it bleed out and just sort of like, you know, have a little bit of shine of colour. So we're going to have a little look at actually painting directly onto a plique that you stitched into. But then I also, because I wanted to play with all the colours, just drew out this little daisy on a piece of calico. And then tried, you know, worked out how, how you could blend it. There you go, see? All good now, isn't it? All good now. There you go. I can't, I'm doing this, darling. Go with Uncle Joshy and see if you can find something nice in the cupboard. Okay. So I just drew out a little daisy shape and then sort of blended and, and drew into it uh, and played around with it. Um, I did get a little bit of bleeding. 
and then I found the outline pencil, which comes in the pack, the outline pencil, which you can actually outline things and then it'll stop the bleeding as much. And I just thought that this would be, a, it's just, it's a really cool technique. So, first of all, I've got a little bit of calico here that I thought we could have a little go at. Um, from all the kind of things that I saw, they definitely said to, I want that one and that one, let's try those two together. Um, they definitely said to, sort of when you're colouring in don't just colour in up and down like that you know this is a circle this is a balloon so don't just colour straight because you might you know what you want to do is colour within the sort of shape so I'm going to sort of gently sort of sweep around this balloon like that and it's really nice they're quite a soft pencil as well so you can really kind of get some colour in there okay sort of sweep around that balloon and then you could think yeah, about yeah. shading as well so I'm going to add a yeah, slightly it's more of a brown bag so yeah, but that'll be fine so if the light's coming from this side we can then add a little sort of bit of shading and all into the side of the balloon there with the darker colour you don't have to put a huge amount of ink on a uh, you know, pencil on you can just it's very relaxing as well I really like that. I love the fact that we you can heat set this, which we'll get to later. Heat set it. And then, guys, I really need a little bit more quiet than that, hun. If you're going to wrestle with him, do you want to do it in your room, babes? <laughs> okay, so, it's all right. He's just woken up, so he's full of energy as well. Um, you don't kind of need to, you know, that much sort of is enough. Just with a clean, clean water, and a paintbrush you can then paint this in and you can can you see how that immediately gets a depth of color to it okay like that so i'm just going to draw in this little balloon and you can kind of then blend it all together these then once this is dry and ironed it, this will be heat safe and you can uh, it will be set and you can absolutely then use this in quilting it can be washed um, which is fab. Can you see that there's the slightly darker com colour coming in this side to give it a little bit of, um, what's the word? A little bit of shadow, like that. So you can kind of paint into this. I think it would be a really nice idea if you, um, what's the word? Um, like with your quilt blocks, if you've got maybe like a quilt block that's got a star or something in it, you could shade into it and draw into it and change bits. Uh, why do they use aloe gel or um, fixing gel? I don't know. Um, so a couple of the um, videos I watched, they used aloe gel, but the lady that I loved and whose work was absolutely amazing, she says, don't bother. Do not bother she said and she did an actual test on it as well so she put the aloe gel on first and then drew into it and you can't blend it fixes the color and she said she's been doing it for like you know 15 years uh, 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 no enough jonah enough now good grief he's got it on him today come on um ah, this way come on so that's kind of yeah this is not working today is it Quite Two seconds, guys. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> he's proper got... He's woken up in a mood. There we go. So that was what they call wet on dry. So we started with dry fabric, and then you colour into it and add it on. <laughs> I really love hearing his nonsense. as you worry it. Oh, bless him. He's proper got it on him today. He really has. <laughs> um, but once it's still wet... You can if you want to, if you want some sort of like more intense bits, you can colour into it again to get darker. Can you guys see this okay? I hope you can on the screen. You, and then you can work back into it if you want to. Okay, so you can do this. And do your little balloon, all right? I could do, then do that little bow on the bottom. So I want a, maybe a paler, oh, let's do it, let's do it in blue. There we go. So. You can then add colours and all into it. Now, the one thing that I kind of heard a lot was, if I then wanted, if this was another balloon here, 
I would wait till this was totally dry before you start doing that because wet likes wet, wet will share with wet and it will bleed into each other. So you want to um, make sure that everything's dry before you do the next bit. So kind of go randomly round. Must be a grandson thing. I'll just been like it into dirt, into everything. Oh, he's, do you know what? He's just, because he, I let him sit on my lap when I'm sewing because he loves it so much. He likes to watch. He just wants to get on my lap while I'm doing this. And it's all right when he's asleep, but when he's not. Okay, so I'm just adding a little bit of blue in there. I don't know if I should have moved the camera down low for you. Sorry, I don't know if you can see this. And I can add that little, that little bow in there, little dark bit in the center, and then just pull out that dark there, just to do that shadow in the center there. Okay, like that. Okay, and then you can use the outline of pencil, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to iron that now, and that will set it. You, it can then be washed. You know, it can be um, you can be using quilts or cushions. I just think oh, <laughs> I just managed to. I forgot to put. Hmm, I've got the cloth here. <laughs> I've got my cloth here, which I was supposed to put over the top to iron it. I forgot. Right. Don't do that, guys. <laughs> so when it's ironed, make sure you put a cloth over it to soak up the excess, okay? Because otherwise, that happens. I forgot. It's because I was dealing with it, thinking about a little sausage. So I put a piece of, um, you know, an old tea towel or flannel, a piece of kitchen roll over the top and then iron it and you don't get that horrible splodge. But never mind. So... What you can then do, imagine that's not there, is you can use your outliner pencil as well. So once it's dry, you can then work back into it if you want a stronger colour anyway. What have you done with him? I'm going to hang out in his crib while he pants himself down. Oh. There we go. So in like that, you can add in more colour. Like that. There we go. And then you can work back in. So if you decide that that colour's not enough, you can add more layers, even like when it's dry, okay? But don't <laughs> don't forget the cloth. Uh, while Holly's drumming, my son-in-law is a drummer and saved Nanny's furniture. They practice. Oh, bless! He's obsessed with cars. Absolutely obsessed with it. But you can then use the outline pencil, which is almost like a permanent thing, and you can kind of go round and like do your details. So if I want like the knot of the balloon, like that. Just give it a little bit of definition. And I could add the string in as well, then you see, with that. Okay. So you can really play around with this, really sort of work into it and stuff. Um, I think it's a really fab technique for, um, particularly with a plea case. So like with this bird here, um, I want to shade him up. I want to make him a bit cute, you know, cuter and stuff. So. Again, because he's circular, make sure you're working in circular motions. So I'm just going to add some this blue to this side, like that. There we go. So I want it a bit darker like that, and maybe then a darker blue just at the very bottom, like that. And then when we add in, I think for a plique, it's an amazing technique. You can really, really add depth and interest to your plique. You know, make them more like proper little wall hangers, proper little pictures. There we go. You see, I'm just pulling out that to give that gentle fade. Like that, activating it all. There we go. And suddenly he's got more dimension. Suddenly he feels a little bit more three-dimensional than just that little you know, that little oval. Um, we can add a little bit of orange into his beak. There we go. And again, we could maybe add a little bit of red at the bottom just to, again, to give it a bit more dimension and painting. It's incredibly simple to do and lots and lots of fun. Just grab my piece of kitchen roll because I put a bit too much water on that. So, there we go. Like that. Um, a dry, little foam brush a lot of ladies were using as well, which I thought was a really good idea. Um, let's do them some funky tail feathers. So, um, you know, if you're somebody who likes to do maybe like quirky cushions or bags or something i think this would be a really nice idea 
there we go and then just pull out that color like that okay and add some little little feet on there we go uh, maybe do some of the leaves <coughs> excuse me there we go we can add some color into the leaves so yeah i just think it's something you it's definitely worth playing with grab yourself get yourself some pencils and really were uh we'll put that in the outtakes yeah definitely <laughs> it is amazing isn't it eileen it's such a fat lovely lovely thing to do and i mean i've got a visual arts degree and you know did a lot of sort of painting and drawing and then did you know lots of um i went sort of did my dissertation and all in ceramics because i was obsessed with the pottery stuff let's put some green feathers on him here and give him a proper coxcomb there we go um what about a bright yellow so I'd flash of black bright yellow in there but it's like adult coloring in you know which i know was all the rage a little while back but this you can then use in your quilting you know why not you know if you've got a darker color going into a lighter color sort of start at the light color and work into the dark so you're not and make sure you clean your brush often as well i found when i was doing the others so you're not like pulling all that dark colour into the yellow. You found it good for background and then embroidery details. Yeah. Also got the ink box for large areas. Yeah, I saw those um, yesterday when I was there. You can buy the pencils in actual ink blocks. You know, like, looks like a little watercolour pad, which, you know, is a really nice um, thing to, you know, way to do them as well, because it's like proper painting in them. Where's that outline pencil gone? I haven't dropped, dumped it. Which way? Where is it? Where is it? Can it? There? No. What have I done with it? No, Violet. Oh, what have I done with the outliner? Ink black. Oh, I'm going mad, guys. Completely going mad. Where's the outliner gone? Blue. No. What's the white? Is it rolled somewhere? Oh, I don't know what I've done with that. <laughs> I find it in a minute. I'll find it the second I want. I don't want it now, won't I? That's the blue, orange. What's that? That's purple. Oh, no idea. No idea where the outline has gone. But it's rolled. Anyway, you know, I could then out, you know, add outlines and stuff. But actually, we could just use the black for now, couldn't we? Where's the black? Ink black. There it is. Uh, you and add his eye in and stuff okay like that you, you can really sort of you know get get some detail and stuff into their shadow and shade and things so have a little play with them and see what you can come out if you want that bleed that bleed effect like i did on here yeah you can literally just flood it and pull it into the fabric so you can put lots of water in and just kind of pull it out and into the fabric. Can you see how that's bleeding by me adding lots of extra water over the edge of the fabric like that? And you can, you know, make that. It's almost like a little halo type effect. Um, let's try adding some dimension to this one. So, yeah, I think they'd be great for free motion. Top of the screen by the green thing. Um, nope, that's the red Shiraz. Shiraz. How bizarre. It's got to be there somewhere. It's got to be one of them. <laughs> Don't know what I've done with that. Um, you know, and then you can see, you can add in. So I'm just giving them a bit more, a bit more shape and things. And you can build into it and work it up. And that's kind of what I did with this one. With the little daisy. Was, you know, played around with it. Worked into it. You know, I could then add, you know, like this maybe, I want it a little bit darker just here. You know, so I could, well, this is completely dry because I, I did it a couple of days ago. So I could then work back into it and add in some darker colour like that. There we go. Like that. And just pull out that. Oh, actually, yeah, there we go. So pull out that darker green. You know, so play around. Play. It's a, definitely a play thing. Um, Mr. Nobody must have had it. I know. It's really, I don't know where it's gone. That's going to annoy the hell out of me now right let me put more of it back in oh th is that it no ink black he definitely just wants to be in here with me he's having a right temper tantrum out there 
Right, they're all filled, so there's got to be, it's got to be here somewhere. Antique white, no, that's yellow. Dark, is that it? Blue. Blood, oh my God. And none of them see outliner now, where is it gone? Right, anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go because somebody is very upset. Come on then, come on. Why are you so upset? Why are you so upset today? Hey, why are we so upset? Are we tired still? Do we need a cuddle? Yeah? It's in there somewhere, I'll find it. So, have a little play around. Um, if you're not a great drawer, then grab a colouring book and use it as a stencil underneath. Just something really simple. Put it underneath, draw it out, and then play around with pencils. You might have some there somewhere. Somebody's got himself all stupidness today, haven't you? Hey, okay. all stupidness. Um, you know, have a little play because I genuinely loved this, how this came out. You know, I liked it anyway. It was a cute little design, but then sort of drawing into it, you think about that on like a project bag and you could put just some you know vinyl and zip and all on the back you know it just made it a little bit more so um thank you yeah the, i the days you came out really pretty actually I, I had a little splodge but um yeah don't uh <laughs> don't forget when you're ironing it to put a piece of kitchen roll on top or an old tea towel or something you want to suck up that water because otherwise it happens see that's gone that oh there it is that happens, that horrible splodge thing happens, which would be horrendous at the end for that to happen for you. But I think it'd be a, ri they'd, they'd be lovely if you could, you could do a personal block, if you're making like a new baby quilt or something, you could you know, cut out a piece of fabric, do a design, and then you could stitch into this now if you wanted to, don't have to, but you, you could do some free motion stitching into it or just quilt it up. Apparently, I'm gonna wash this one and see what happens. But apparently they are completely wash safe as well. They will stay in the fabric and, and stay. Oh, I know. You are grumpy, grumpy, aren't you? Are you grumpy, grumpy? Yeah. Go on then. I, I'm finishing up now, darling, okay? And then Gwen's got to go back to work. Um, oh, we, the dummy's gone in the bin, has it? Has the dummy gone in the bin? We are. He's got it on him now. <laughs> I'll find that outliner as well. But... um. Yeah, definitely have a little look. Get yourself, they do smaller sets. They do sets of like, I think six pencils and stuff. You know, I just think it'd be really nice to have a little play with and bring something else, you know, if you are doing a new cushion or, you know, um, I think, yeah, I think it'd be really nice to make like, you know, what's the word, um, individual blocks, you know, that are really personal if you were making a quilt special, even if it was on the back. You could do your quilt labels and all as well, couldn't you? You could do something and, and then write in, you know, in and everything into it. Um, and make, a, make your own quilt labels. So yeah, just a nice little thing. It was just something, oh, we will do the book now, darling, okay? We'll do the book. Just a nice little thing to um, have a play with, something a bit different. And I think it's got lots of uses. I do think like in a quilt block, you could draw designs or add shading and stuff into your quilt blocks to make them pop more so um so yeah i'm gonna go because somebody is uh, very much demanding my attention and i don't want him to grab the iron <laughs> so um i'm gonna go my darlings i'm back tomorrow with block of the week and then sarah will be back on thursday with some crochet um it was yeah it was just a, an odd little one today but i hope you enjoyed just having a play with me and uh sorry about all the noise <laughs> Somebody is grumpy. And uh, I'll see you soon. Take care, guys. Bye.